all right youtube in this video i'm going to show you how the restaurant management system works so this is a laravel project which we have created in the previous week the total video is of eight hours long now this is the intro part and this is the final project and it's live fine now if you see to start with the intro here we have two person will handle the software the first one is the admin and the second one the first one is the owner of the restaurant and the second one is the cashier so here if you see the owner is Vishal and cashier is Suresh so let me show you if you click on the restaurant app the owner has access to management module cashier module and report module uh, I'll make sure what each module has in between but let me sign up with cashier and uh, show you how does it looks for cashier so this is the cashier cashier just have only access to the cashier module so let's consider a scenario or uh, let's start with the admin or uh, the owner So let's get into the first part which is management here the owner can create category can create menu can create table let's see what is category so I have a category of menu so uh, the upcoming uh, event is let's say Diva Christmas so let's create the offer for Christmas <coughs> click on submit and a category is created you see category is created if you if you want you can f you are free to edit this and uh, if you click on menu and these are the menu which is already been added so if you want to add create it let's call it a south indian dish of price 50 rupees a validation is also added that's what it's seeing so So let's add the dish which I have saved it in the and uh, it's three pieces and let's add the Christmas category click on submit and you see with the alert message the dish is added you see piece 3 if you, if you want you can you are free to edit it and delete it now let's add a table at present for in our restaurant we have five table let's add one more table which is c1 click on submit so this is the role of the management module so we have added category menu and table fine now let's get into the cashier what cashier will do let's access with the cashier uh, whatever the cashier do the owner can also do but the work is the work is specifically for cashier so consider a cashier has all access table consider there is a table a1 in the a1 there is a customer has ordered lunch so these are the categories dinner weekend breakfast so if he has ordered fried chicken click on fried chicken and you see fried chicken is added successfully along with the price total if you want you can remove it and along with fried chicken he has ordered another dish which is this one so if I click you can see if he d did not want you can click on this delete button and it will be deleted likewise after all the thing that means after he has ordered all the values if you want to pay you just have to click on confirm order and click on payment and uh, take the money 200 rupees you see if he gives if he gives 150 he, it says he, there is a change of 150 rupees 50 rupees and he has ordered cash or credit card let's make it credit card click on save payment and after that a uh, receipt has been generated 
so if you see fried chicken total price 100 burger price 100 total price 200 credit paid amount and if you want to print click on print and the data will be printed so let me zoom in let me show you zoom in and so you see thank you but here it is go back and print is uh, these two button are excluded on print so we will see how to do that you see the two links are excluded go back and print go back and print is excluded fine now this is how the cashier generates the payment so now it's time for the admin in case admin wanted to see what was the report of today we saw we have purchased 200 rupees uh, customer has purchased 200 rupees uh, in to see the report the owner has to click on the report and uh, click on the date today is 14 and ends on 14 click on get report and you see this is what Suresh has made 200 rupees and the receipt ID is 20 fine now if you see this is of table the same way the admin can also be a cashier let's add if you want you can see now you can con confirm this order and click on one more you can see these two are confirmed and this is not confirmed you see delete button is there confirm order payment 650 it's by cash and uh, only this is remaining so confirm this also so this will turn green that means the payment is done for this particular table now let's check the report now we are logged in as admin from 14 till 14 two more two more tables has been vacated there is 400 and uh, 400 fine that's all for this video uh, we have created the complete video uh, complete project from scratch uh, with the source code and uh, in this video videos description you will get the source code of the laravel folder and the database backup that's all for this video thank you so much for listening